Now to today's other big story. Four men have been charged over the death of businessman Michael McGurk, who was shot last year outside his Sydney home. Police arrested three of the men this morning in suburban Chipping Norton. A fourth later surrendered to police in King's Cross. Reporter Jane Margetts on the latest turn in one of Sydney's most notorious cases. Thirteen months of intense surveillance led police to this industrial estate and three of the men, they say, played a major role in Michael McGurk's murder. Some people have been charged with a solicit to murder and have in fact solicited uh, some of the other individuals to commit the act of murder. Former boxer Lucky Gatilari is the man accused of paying to have Michael McGurk killed. Hassan Safetli is one of the alleged murderers. Senad Kamenik is charged with being an accessory. 20-year-old Christopher Estefan handed himself in at King's Cross Police Station this morning. He's also charged with murder. The motive for the murders is clearly some financial and business transactions. Michael McGurk was shot in the back of the head in front of his 10-year-old son outside his home in Cremorn last September. There is clear evidence that two persons were present at that time. Just before Mr McGurk was killed, he told a journalist he had a secret tape that could bring down the state government. He'd also been involved in a series of court battles with millionaire property developer Ron Medich. An inquiry by the ICAC cleared both Ron Medich and state Labor MPs. But Ron Medich admitted in a parliamentary inquiry he was a business associate and lifelong friend of Lucky Gatilari. Mr Medich has denied any involvement in the murder and there's no suggestion he's a suspect. Strike Force Narangan investigations are continuing. It is anticipated further charges and arrests will be forthcoming. Michael McGurk's widow has issued a statement saying she's relieved the arrests have been made. She's thanked the police for their efforts and asked the media to respect her privacy. Three of the men are due to appear in court tomorrow. Jane Margetts, ABC News, Sydney.